on BBC One, Chris Basher and Susan Osman with tonight's Points West. In Points West tonight... What do you think of the royal wedding plans? We find out how the news has been received here at home. And I screamed with excitement. I was so thrilled. It's such a surprise. It's lovely. It's wonderful. The Rovers striker accused of attempted rape. The court is told he was an example to the team. Plus... And I've had to wait an hour, an hour, and I think it's, well, I think it's disgusting. The bus company put on the spot over its poor punctuality. Hello. Well, the world's press descended on Tepri in Gloucestershire today, where one of its inhabitants announced his marriage plans. Thank you very much. Well, before we go, we're going to take a few minutes to say goodbye and good luck to Susan, who's leaving, as we've said, after 14 years. Long time, it isn't is it? a wonderful, wonderful time. Um, we're going to miss you so much. I Susan. shall miss being with you. It's been a great privilege working for Points West and coming into your homes on a nightly basis, mm, I can yeah. assure you. Well, let's have a chat in a minute, but first. I've been looking back at your time oh with dear. us here. The long and winding road. Even in the gym, she looked a million dollars. But Susan, the immaculate face of BBC West, knows how to get stuck in. And when she was training for a half marathon for charity, she shared the experience with viewers. It's been a challenge. It's taken a lot of hard work and determination and um, a lot of motivation. This, mind you, she did always have plenty of support from her friends. Come on, Susan, faster! Faster, Susan! Her TV career started with a fanfare at HTV in Bristol. The newly formed Shakespeare Centre, a group of 20 actors from all walks of life, but later, at Points West, she helped pulverise the opposition as audiences soared. Hello there. I'm just checking for any new stories on the computer, which has now been in operation for a full year. Her first appearance was 14 years ago. Her clothes and hair, then and now, an instant talking point across the West. But she's a tough journalist and interviewer too. Everyone wants to know, when will the bar spa actually open? The daughter of a soldier, she has a military resilience. Show off, <laughs> army types. Combining her television work with a highly rated daily radio programme and stints on BBC Network News. More than enough to exhaust most NCOs. Yeah, I'll be there. The defeat, ring my agent, anything, just get me out of here. Mind you, it was only occasionally we caught her napping. In the West, the doctor banned from surgery after the former plastics factory boss charged with causing a disaster that cost... Three and on live TV, on even with a priceless diamond, anything can happen. Oh, oh he's here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've dropped the uh, diamond. We interrupt no, this broadcast do it. for an urgent no search of oh, a third of a million pounds it. worth of jewellery. Oh. While always busy on screen, particularly around children in need time, She's donated many, many hours to local charities with hundreds of unsung public appearances. Many men have tried to sweep her off her feet. Jim Davidson, Hippodrome Theatre, BBC. Sadly, perhaps it's too late to be carried away by a real prince after today's announcement. It's the end of our 14-year marriage and a proud association with BBC West. Susan may be going to pastures new but will never be forgotten. Some lovely memories. Though. Yeah, fantastic memories for us. Too late to get him with stars, though. Uh, that's true. Uh, couldn't let you go without your boys giving you a special My uh, boys. farewell. David is oh, here. Oh, David. Hello. Oh. We're well, going to miss you so much, but Thank there's a you. few little blooms to Aren't remind you of us. Oh, they're gorgeous. We've had some great times in this studio, haven't we? We certainly so... have. Perching on that seat will be a lasting memory for me. <laughs> <laughs> and some great laughs. You were a great giggler. Yes. Yes, well, there was I a lovely, that diamond, that there was lovely that email, memory. actually. This sums up everyone. This is, literally, we've had this in during the programme uh, from some viewers. We shall miss your smile, your infectious Aww. giggle, and your teasing of poor Richard Angle. Oh, Richard, <laughs> I didn't tease you tonight. <laughs> not tonight. People used to think it was genuine. People used to think you were having a go at one another, not didn't true, they? Though, Either that or that you were having true. an affair. <laughs> Never been true. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Certainly yes. not. This is the BBC. Can't talk about that here this evening. I'm a lady. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and your, any high points for you? 
It's very difficult to single anyone out. I mean, it's been an absolutely marvellous experience being with all of you here and, of course, the viewers who make the programme so special because mm -hmm. they watch us on a nightly basis. And it's been fun and we've had a mixture of all sorts of things, and haven't we? there's never been a dull moment. There certainly <laughs> hasn't. Honestly <laughs> say that. <laughs> well, sadly, uh, we're going to have to say farewell uh, to you as well just for now. Stay with us here on uh, BBC One because we've uh, got something special coming up. Oh, yes, the news, the BBC News special on today's Royal Wedding announcement. That's uh, coming up in uh, uh, here on BBC One. A few yeah. minutes' time. Yeah. Yes. yes. Uh, Stay tuned. But I think I, I'm going to be back from the news at, uh, at 10 o'clock. I'm not going to be here tomorrow. You're not going to be here tomorrow. No. So I think no. we should let you have the final word. OK. It's been a great pleasure being in your sitting rooms and from all of us here, especially me, Susan Osman, take care and God bless. <laughs>